Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2. After getting rid of these demon knights, we're now able to call two new grand magical items our own. The first one is not going to be that much of a good deal for us because it can only be used by evil characters. However, the second one, the Belt of Frost Rind Strength, is now ours. 21 strength for a single character, which will of course go Draconia for now. Also, the Belt of Frost Rind Strength is also one of the items that you will need for Chrome Fair. So we now have to get the hammer, the belt, the scroll, and something else I can't remember. But if you have all items together, you can easily just assemble the. What is he going to cast? We don't know yet. Alright. Gonna pull back for a second here. Oh, here it. Oh, oh. I'm gonna pull Kelden out of that group. Just to make sure that exactly this will not happen. So we can attack with everyone now. Oh, I don't have a selected. Lovely. Oh, there we go. And we need to make sure that Jan is not dying over here, so I'm gonna go for these warriors first here. There we go. Much easier. What? Still someone here? Ah, uh, Jan, yes. You need to pull back. Well, first death in the first episode of the day. Not too good. Well, we can raise him already, so... We should be alright. Right, where's your stuff? No. No? Oh, I think the robe actually gives it away. Leon is always the squishiest of them all. Too bad, really. Besides, he actually has a minus two armor class. It's not that high. Not anymore, anyway. Right, let's have a look at what these dudes have. Let's loot. These Kurtoa can be quite stressful to fight. Because they always come from different directions that you don't know about. I'm not sure why that is. Seems they're just like aggroed from all over the place if you attack one of their brothers. Not sure why that is, but... Oh no, we're gonna attack this one first. Because he was casting something that could cause very much of a problem. Most of the time, this is something like a, a spell like um, Sunfire or the likes. Something priests can do to really do a lot of damage towards you. Uh, on Anaman. Okay, you're gonna move one step ahead here. Much better. Ah, flame strike coming up, I think. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say, by the way. I couldn't remember the spell name. I wanted to say flame strike last time. But Sunfire is, of course, a mage spell, so that's not possible to be casted. Oh, occur to a captain. Interesting. There we go. Much easier now. Right. They have basic loot. They have nothing out of the ordinary. Since they're only very basic enemies. No specials yet. But we will be fighting something very soon. 
That is unkillable for now, but can be killed later if we do it right. This Bryn Pool is a place of worship for the Kurtur. Here they make offerings to the Sea Mother. Yes, they do. However, we need to go west for a second. Or we rather want to go west, to put it like that. We want to go here later on as well. Right. Because over here is a door, which we can't pass yet, but I just want to make sure that uh, we get over here. Now these drow here, they're going to try and kill us, of course. I'm going to go for the wizard first this time around, though. Okay, I think we need to do some dispelling here. Oh, lovely. Um, go on the priestess, please. Stop her from casting anything, then kill the drone next. Uh oh. Uh, why are you standing in front of there anyway? Okay, I think we killed every one of them. Now we need to move Jan away from here. Preferably between our fighters. There we go. Now I hope these skeletons can be killed quite quickly. I don't want to lose Jan again. I think moving him away was a good idea at that point. Oof! Jan always with his damage taking. Quite something, I might add. And as you can see, well, it says it's locked, but we can't open it, so... It's not possible. A full plate mail. Sounds about right. Also, we can get a long sword of the drone. I'm going to show you these items very quickly. Um, the light crossbow is a drone crossbow of speed, which means one extra attack per round. And the drone long sword is just a basic long sword plus three. It's nothing special. However, the plate mail can be used for animan. And if I find another one, then we'll also have something for Kelvin. Also Chaos Sphere. Not a bad spell either. It's already in there. And Yarn Fade, the copy it, of course. 25 points going up again. 10 points here, and set traps by 5 points. Now, I hope I can rest here, because I don't want to spend all healing spells again on my people. And hold on a second. Right, dealt with that. Now, I want to go in here to clear out this path. That's the only thing that really remains in this place, other than the area up here that we're going to go next after that one. Because we're looking for blood from the Kuatua Prince. And right now, that prince is invulnerable. So we can't actually do any damage to him. Or basically we can, but we, we can't kill him. So we need to make sure that we get here. Tainted tadpoles from this pool. You may take some if you wish. Yes. We wish. We only need one of them. We don't need more than that. So that's all we need at this point. You might say, mm, why would you need contaminated tadpoles? These corrupted tadpoles. These are the to a tadpoles taken from the corrupted birthing pool. They appear to be deceased and were most likely placed here to avoid corrupting the healthy tadpoles. If such thing would be were done, the adult cuatones would be weakened. 
Now that is one hint at that. However, normally you would not know that. So you must think like, well, I'm gonna fight an enemy here in the next room. He's like a little bit black around his uh, silhouette. And thus you might think, well, just different color. But once you start attacking him, you notice that you can't do anything to him. You can try... Oh, I'm gonna go back here, so they come running towards me. Because I want to kill these first, before anything else. There we go. I don't like to fight Kurtoa too many at a time. Because they're actually quite powerful if you're not careful. There he is. Now this here is the Kurtoa Prince. As I said before, you can attack him, but you will not be able to kill him, unfortunately. So we're taking him down quite nicely. He's badly... Wait, what? Okay, forget what I said about that. I thought that normally you won't be able to kill him. Guess I was wrong. Well, we're gonna add the tadpoles anyway. Well, that was weird. I seem to remember differently here. That you couldn't kill him. And he would stay on, like, really low HP until you did that. Huh. Well, I guess I was wrong. You could kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Improved haste. Don't need. Blood goes in here. Well, we did use the tadpoles in the last seconds anyway, so we're just getting rid of them so we don't have them in the inventory. Well, nice. <laughs> I was remembering completely differently. But that's all right. Happens. Now, anyway, we've collected the blood of the Kua to a prince. That's the first item we wanted to get. And the second one that we want to get is the blood of a illicit brain. Mind Flayer, also known as. So, you might think, well, where are we going to get that from? Well, there's only one place that we can get it from. And that is if we're going a little bit more east. Now, we won't be finding that directly right after that, but we'll be finding it a little bit later. Because right here, there's no such place as an illicit hideout or whatever. So we can't really see where it could be. However, if we move on a little bit more right, First of all, we're getting a dialogue. Hello, I seek passage through this realm of yours. Sorry, this isn't going to end well, is it? Nope. Kurto are not very friendly. Oh, I probably should go for that one first. Oh, I think he died anyway already. Damn. Oh no. This is not good at all. Ugh. I hate that. Perhaps I should have not done that. Well, do we have something to resurrect Animan? Immediately, I don't think so. We have a resurrection spell, but I think at least. Do we? Hmm. Well, I don't think we have. Okay, I think we should pull back a little bit here. Right, you are going to shoot on that one. Well, you two are attacking the front one here. Kill it! There we go. God, these Kuatoa are really a nuisance. Um, 
he's uninjured, so that didn't help. But we can make magic missile on the back one here. Though. Right, we're gonna pull you back here. Ah, uh, I hate that when Jan does that. Kill it! Thank you! Now go on that one, please, here. Yeah. There we go. Now Kelden will be dispelling magic from that thing pretty soon. There we go. Now, Eri, would you kindly resurrect Anaman? So really have him back before the fight ends. That is really annoying sometimes. Like, he has such a low armor class. But he still gets hit too many times. Even though, I know, he was held in combat, but still. Not exactly sure what his armor class is. I think normally you will lose dexterity bonuses, I, but for armor class, and then still getting hit, like, all the time. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, that's Animan saved. Minus eight is not really bad. But we shall not dwell too much on the past. Animan is back alive, and that's good. Now what I want to do, though, for next time, is I want to remove this and add that one. Just so we have one spell. Oh my g- what? Lizard men, seriously? Alright, eat fire. Near death. Near death. Dead. Sleeping again. Or trying to. Oh, more lizardmen! Look! Aw, oh, too bad. Didn't kill all of them. Good thing about Nalia with Nervekna's robe. You can really cast spells pretty easily. And again! With the lizardmen! Please, just let me rest! Right, this time we're gonna do something different. How about cold this time, hmm? Well, we actually didn't kill all of them. It seems we froze some. Whoa! Nice, I've never done that before. That was cool, though. Let me rest! God. Ah. Please, just let me rest! I don't want to make a mass lizardman grave here. Thank you for finally seeing, as it should be, that I don't need to get attacked by lizardmen all the time. Now, actually we need two more things. Huh, completely forgot about that one. Now, over here is eastern tunnels and down here is the southern tunnels. We want to go southern tunnels first. I think. Because I'm gonna pause right here as well. Because over here are beholders. Now Anaman here is going to equip his shield of Balduran. I'm gonna move to the left right away. This is an Elder Orb, by the way. And we just need to kill this one over here. And then we can move on to the Elder Orb. So we can take him out. Yeah, a little bit of Sunfire is not too bad of a thing. This, however, is bad. Petrification! Lovely. Well, if we can kill him, which we did, then we can get Kelden back. Kelden is not an essential party member in the way of if we... Where is he? There he is. In the way of if we have a problem with him, then there is not going to be any consequences. 
Right, and back he is with us. Just ask, tell me. Because we want the item that the Elder Orb is holding, which is this one here, a nice stalk of an Elder Orb. We need that later for the Drow City. For now I'm just going to show you this one, the Blade of the Equalizer, which is the second item of the Equalizer that we need. And an amulet of spell warding, which gives us plus two saving throws worth of every spell. And that will go to you, dear friend. Since you just died, basically, and then it's probably a good idea that you're alive again. So we're gonna save. And then we're gonna rest. And then, all we need to do is to get Anaman up in front. Because he will do everything he can, but just... Oh yeah, I forgot about the draw. Uh, oh, he's already near death. Oops. Well, I'm gonna pull back now, though. Because I want these drow to come to me. On my terms. Now, you three are gonna pull back here. The good thing is, these are only melee drow. There's no priestess, no wizard, nothing here. They can still hurt quite a bit, no doubt. There we go. Four or five done. Uh, actually, three or five done. Number four. And the last one. There we go. I think this might have been a... Yes, a full plate made. Lovely. This will go to... Kelvin. Boom. Minus ten. The problem is, he doesn't have a lot of strength, so... 17 strength. What? Wait. That is strange. Yeah, there we go. I wasn't sure, but this is like... He definitely needs that girdle, and that one goes to... No, we can't do that. Dang it. Alright, you will keep those, and you will get that one. That should solve things. You will have 17 strength, but you've got 19 is better. Besides, you can now carry these items here without any trouble. Now it is time to move Animan forward. Oh, there's still one drow remaining here. Draconia, would you mind attacking the drow? That would be really good. Thank you. And he's slowed as well. There we go. Much better. I am ready. Of now, let's move ahead, shall we? First we're gonna go down south. Completely all the way south. Whoa! Oh yeah! I forgot about the Illithids actually there. I should really be more careful, I think. But we can kill those things here without trouble. Just gonna stand here, let them kill each other. That should be no problem whatsoever to kill the rest of them. The only thing that can really hurt us, I believe, is something like imprisonment or, or maze. But as far as I remember, these people don't have it. That one's petrified. Right. Oh, we don't have anything down here. Oh, Gothid damaged a Mind Flare. Huh. That could be interesting to see. Well, <laughs> here come the Goth! Oh, level up for Nalia. Wonderful. Should be no one up here anymore. So we're just gonna loot this place over here. Then we're going back. This one's actually quite nice, from what I recall. Uh, that one was... I couldn't see that. 
a normal beholder, so that's alright. Ah, I just love how to stand there. That's actually quite like cheating a little bit, I guess. And these two beholders are actually helping me. Aw, oh, not anymore though. Petrified. Elder Orb. Now I need to be careful though. Because that one can cast any other spells. Like Imprisonment and Maze. Which could be dangerous for us. I'm just going to quickly check back here. It happened to me before that these Elder Orbs wandered over to this side and killed everyone. Yes, the light shall prevail. And I don't want that to happen. Right. I'm going to make a detour down here. Beholder did two damage to Gorth. True side Elder Orb, yes. Cast Imprisonment. There you see? That's the, the worst thing that can happen. Especially because you can't do anything against that. Right, we're going to save here before we go down south. I want to be definitely sure that nothing is going to happen here. Yarn's leveling up. One, two, three, six. All right. One is going to be magic missile. Two, melf. Three is going to be another fireball. And six is going to be... Now do we have already have true sight? How about disintegration? Hmm? Lamp up for her is two, three, and four, as well as mage. All right. Two, three, and four, and mage spells will be true sight. This detect invisible and another identifier spell. Actually, not magic missile. And you will gain six, seven, and eight. So we're closing in on a ninth level spell. Don't have it yet, but very soon. We are going to choose for you flesh to stone. We are going to choose Delayed Blast Fireball and Abidalsum's Horrid Withering, one of the best spells yet to have. And you will gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is always nice, having spells of every kind. That. That. that and now oh, we don't need the magic resistance flame strike gonna get this out of the way healing and oh this by the way harm is one of the most imbalanced spells at all like you need to touch a creature make a melee um, hitting throw against the creature and if you land that hitting throw, then it gets down to like 1 HP. That is so imbalanced, honestly. Unfortunately though, you need to hit the target, but other than that, this spell is so crazy. Like in, in guides that I've read before, um, people use this spell to take down the dragons that I've already fought. Like, they specifically make a cleric that acts well in melee combat and then they just hit the dragon with that spell down to 1 HP, hit it once more and he's dead, right? That's like one of the cheapest ways to do things like that but it's a possibility of course, nonetheless it's uh, a very cheap way of doing it. Although I suppose cheap is really 
something that I'm doing also sometimes, so I guess I can't complain. <laughs> But having a spell that reduces an enemy to, to 1 HP, seriously. I mean, I'm not against that, but it's a really weird way to do things. Right. Everyone's hasted. Now, how about we go down here and see... Oh! Is he still... Probably is. Okay, we're going to move these guys back here. Well, the Beholder... No. Actually, they're not dead. Right. How about we do this? Attacks Nalia. That's not good. Gonna pull everyone back here. Gonna kill one mind flayer now, since we have the possibility. And then we're gonna go for the last few mind flayers here. And now go for the last mind flayer. And now attack the yellow orb. No, you you want to attack it. Oh, <laughs> I can't I can't click on it right now. But we're gonna attack it anyway, so it goes down. Right. I don't think this will work now. This never works. It's the only spell that you cannot dispel for some reason. I'm not sure why. This might be a really heavy spell to dispel. Like a really, really hard spell. I'm not sure what you need to dispel that, but it never works. <laughs> Basically, it doesn't. Even though the dispel from Keldon is like casted with twice his class level, I think I remember that said somewhere. So that's like really, really high. But it just doesn't work. Right, let's see if we can rest here. We can, but we get attacked by... Oh god. No, we're not going to do that because Jan is going to die instantly here. Because the Goths are using serious wounds on him. Thank you! Right, everything's good again. Now we only need to go to the right hand side here, and then we're done with this area. However, I first want to get rid of all these valuable stones here. Oh, full. Right, time to use that one then. We can stock up to 80 items in here, so we're still good. And now this one here is a green stone amulet. This amulet converts upon the wearer protection against many forms of mind control magic, such as charm, confusion, fear, domination, no alignment, hold, stun, psionics, sleep, and feeble mind. However, the protection effect uses one charge each time and will only last for one turn. So this one protects you, for example, against those Mind Flares spells. This sling is also very nice, but it uses bullets, so not to my liking. Too much, anyway. Can't use that one. That's already in your spell book. Alright. That's a 1000 experience spell, anyway, so... We good. Now I think the Elder Orb normally was here to the right hand side, so this one should be like completely empty. And it actually is. Wonderful. So that's another part done and completely cleared of enemy monsters. 
Now, as I was saying, the last item that we need is the blood of the brain of the Mind Flayers. So there's only one tunnel left in our journey, and that's the Eastern Tunnels. However, since this video is going for quite a long time already, we'll be doing that next time. So, when we come back, folks, fighting on against the Mind Flayers. So, I will see you all next time.